This just in, breaking news. Breaking news live from London. Giant breasts have been seen attacking London. According to the Huffington Post and several affiliates of BBC News, giant breasts have appeared in four different locations in the heart of East London. This one's seen here, yeah, this one seen here appeared above Columbia Road's flower market. The giant breasts are reported to be in varying shape, size, and color. But all are massive, beyond human size, including most porn stars and Dolly Parton. <laughs> the press have been reported to have been attacking helpless children with the sight of nakedness. Pearl clutching mothers everywhere in a state of panic that their children may catch a glimpse of a bare naked boob. <laughs> Authorities are taking measures to capture the breast, but warn the general public to remain vigilant. Because if they capture one, it doesn't mean you're out of danger, as they're usually known to travel in pairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. There are, there are several theories as to where the giant breasts have come from. Some say it's part of a breastfeeding awareness campaign started here by Bowler Elvey, the CEO of women's healthcare company Femtech. The campaign's goal is allegedly to destigmatize the act of breastfeeding in public. However, there's a much more plausible theory that these giant breasts are actually British MPs who have all turned into colossal tits after repeatedly demonstrating they're incapable of learning how to crap or get off the pot. <laughs> <laughs> Further details will be given on this breaking story as it develops. Or you could just go to Pornhub right now and see what giant dangerous boobs are up to on several live oh, webcams. Oh, oh my god. Ooh, wee. It's like a coming up, the, yes, coming up, Bill Gates and Elon Musk are teaming up and they're making a medicine to treat erectile dysfunction. They're going to call it Elon Gates. <laughs> Elon Gates. <laughs> But a recent study showed that disabled children are far less likely to attend church services due to how they are treated while they're there. Because apparently just being in a wheelchair isn't bad enough. Some asshole has to come up to you and explain the reason why you're in a wheelchair is because you don't believe in Jesus hard enough. <laughs> Well-known evangelical reverend Jeremiah Blackpowder said he doesn't welcome disabled children into his church anymore. He said, we tried faith healing the little assholes, and they just stubbornly sat in their chairs and did nothing. <laughs> oh, my God. Zack Snyder, director of Batman vs. Superman, got into a fight in social media last week when he responded to critics who said they didn't like it when their heroes killed people. In short, Snyder said... Batman kills, Superman kills, get over it. Someone says to me, Batman killed a guy, I'm like, wake the fuck up. You know, it's language like that that may be why you suck at directing movies of beloved <laughs> children's characters. <laughs> Apparently, Snyder was dropped from the DC series. After there was creative differences as he wanted to portray Aquaman as a dealer of opioids. Flash was involved in human trafficking, and the rest of the entire Justice League was supposed to be addicted to snuff porn. Snuff <laughs> porn, oh my god. Oh, good grief. And finally, China has censored all the game scenes from the movie Bohemian Rhapsody, leaving people who saw the movie to complain now the movie just doesn't make any sense at all, because most of the scenes are missing. Most of the music scenes, however, were left in, which left audiences with much more to watch once the Chinese than, than the other movie where Chinese authorities were through censoring Brokeback Mountain. That's all you saw right there. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the way you wish it wasn't. I'm Catboy Kunhu. <laughs>